All right. I'm out and about in the city. Decided to take a little moment and um, and and really touch on something. Really touch on a topic here as to uh, what it means to really prepare yourself, to really arm yourself. You hear it often said that you have to prepare yourself, you have to have a, a certain number of um, skills, abilities, as well as tools, supplies, in order to survive. And um, I think that's just, it's just the wrong way to go about things. That's the wrong way to go about things. I'm not, I'm not in the business of survival. I'm in the business of risk. I'm in the business of business. I'm in the business of thriving. And that's hard for some. Why? Because it it implies it necessitates. It requires risk. It asks that you take risk. That you assess how much of that you can take and bear yourself how much risk you can afford to bear so you have to prepare in that way you have to prepare i've said it before i feel like preppers your uh, your your normie preppers your mainstream preppers the ones who stockpile toilet paper by the pallet as we saw evidenced in this last whatever demic when everything was shut down and quarantined or whatever which historically a quarantine is 40 days but we were promised only two weeks 14 or 15 days to flatten the curve well look at us now it's thursday july 15 2021 more than a year more than 365 days since we were promised that bullshit look where we're at now motherfuckers getting ripped out of their houses having kids being torn away from them we're not allowed to see them in the hospital you know their birthing parents can't see them if they haven't been vaccinated can't go to school can't go to work and I'm not knocking on on the on these private entities right they could set up whatever fucking restriction they want they probably could have you suck a dick before you come to work right but the fact that they believe they must require you to take a vaccine require you require you to 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 take the vaccine a personal choice in my belief and yeah it's available today to anybody over the age of 12 right you don't need permission you can just go get and take that shit and you should if you really feel like you need it if it'll put you at ease if it'll provide you with a peace of mind go get that shit Damn, you you want to go to a concert that bad? Go get that shit. You really want to go to that nice, swanky restaurant that you haven't been able to get a reservation at? 8 o'clock at Dorcia's type bullshit? Go get that shit, man. Go, go get it. Nobody's fucking stopping you. If motherfuckers like me want to roll the dice and not get it, fine. And that's not to say I'm rolling the dice on my health. I know how it works. I understand the risks. So if I get it or don't, it's a personal choice. That's the risk I'm willing to bear. That's the risk many folks, many others are willing to bear. But thinking that me getting vaxxed, right, is going to protect somebody else, 
that's that's like the opposite of how vaxes work. You can go ahead and and, and look uh, historically what the term herd immunity meant. I mean, it's already been 1984 on the digital scape, on the digital landscape, so it has a different meaning. But go ahead and and, and look at a definition from maybe 1990, from early 2010s. There you go. Doesn't even have to be that long ago. It was changed over the course of the last year. It was changed to fit some type of bullshit narrative that requires you to get shot up in order to participate in quote unquote regular life. It ain't really regular life, man. Y'all want to see regular life? Move out of the city one time. See how many vaccines you need out in nature. And then everybody want to say everyone everyone wants to say that we're animalistic, that we have base instincts. I don't see very many hunter gatherer types. Motherfuckers think that meat grows in grocery stores and chocolate milk comes from brown cows. They've never seen a tree actually bear fruit. They've never picked it up off of its branch. It's wild. It's really wild. The disconnect that exists. And the risks that people are not assessing. They're not evaluating. They aren't appreciating. And just diving in. Head first. But their ignorance is no excuse. It's no excuse for what's coming. So, I mean, I don't I don't blame them. They are to blame, but I don't blame them. To me, they're just another piece... There's just another piece on, on this chesskers board. It's fucking chess and checkers. Because life ain't a game, right? You can't fit life into a little box that you can just label a game. It ain't shoots and ladders. It ain't chess. It ain't checkers. It's not sorry. It isn't monopoly. It's none of that bullshit. It doesn't exist on a playing board. It exists on this on this plane. On this realm. In this dimension. And you fuck around. You run the risk. Of getting X'd out. That's it. By your own hand or by somebody else's. And there might well be somebody else. who, Who's free of liability. Who who has a government contract and is exempt from any liability. You can't sue if you are injured by their actions. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the motherfuck out of here. It's wild. It really is. So I'm left to wonder, what is it exactly that... that people like myself need to do right I'm out here I'm vaccinated or not and I want to move about in a way that improves my state of being that improves the human condition at least internally if not externally in my immediate surroundings how do I do it you arm yourself You heard me. You arm yourself. You're going to be assertive. You aren't preparing to defend. You aren't getting ready to survive in the future. This shit ain't survival. You have to think in a manner. You have to work in a manner. Act in a manner. Move and do as if you are to thrive. It's a change of mindset. A lot of folks require a change of mindset. And short of dosing somebody with, I don't know, psychedelics or something, or or dosing somebody with the type of adrenaline that's produced when you slap a gun in somebody's hand 
and you point at somebody that they ought to kill, they won't get how the world works otherwise. You need some form of traumatic experience. And traumatic is a triggering word. I get it. I get it. But it's a sudden change. It's a sudden change. It's a jolt in reality. It shouldn't always carry a negative connotation. When someone says trauma, and it literally means a physical injury or some type of disturbing experience, that's... That's... Should, it shouldn't always be in a distressful... How do I say it? it shouldn't always result in distress. I mean, yeah, it is stress. Yeah, I mean, it does stimulate the senses that cause a person to react or overreact in some cases if they don't know how to cope, if they don't, if they don't know how to operate under stress. And yeah, it causes some folks to shut down, causes some folks' mentals to just snap. And they have an episode of some kind of psych- a psychotic break. But it requires that you arm yourself, that, that, that you steal your nerves, right? As the saying goes, that you steal your nerves, that you sharpen your knife and oil your gun make sure that bitch is slick and runs through every shell in your magazine without getting caught. Why? Because the goal is to thrive. It's not to survive. You gotta arm yourself. Arm yourself always. I say that now because I had I had an associate in the past it was somewhat of a past life I suppose and um, we were talking about what what the future would look like moving from the status that we were at then the level the, the social status that we occupied then and we wanted to move into something better Something more, quote-unquote, professional. And, um... They were somewhat of like a mentor to me. And I asked... I, I, I forget, and this happens often. I'm not sure if it just happens with inquisitive people people who who like to query things you know always be asking questions always hungry to learn but i've noticed in my time in my life whenever i ask questions and i'm answered um every now and then a phrase a sentence an order or a command just resonates and um, a lot of those you can catch on the Instagram page. Some of those you'll find in quotes. Some of those might be mine. Others are just <laughs> quotes I've, I've caught through time. I could probably write a book. Fuck, I probably should write a book. And they told me to arm myself with knowledge Or something similar. Now you think about that. What that means. To arm yourself. With knowledge. Or something similar. It makes you think. If knowledge is power. Well. What is so similar to knowledge so as to also bestow power on you, give you power, cause you to uh, acquire power 
and, and be cognizant of it. Recognize that there is power in how you arm yourself. Because you could arm yourself with fucking bullshit, right? You could arm yourself... You could necessarily, and this is going to be like a cross analogy, but you could necessarily arm yourself with a knife and show up in a gunfight. And it's contextual. You could lose and you could win. It's all contextual. First and foremost, it's arming yourself with knowledge. And that's what they'd said first. They didn't say, pick up a gun, because a gun is a given. They didn't tell me to pick up a knife. A knife is a given. To pick up a rock. What do I look like, motherfucking cane out here? A rock is a given. But to pick up knowledge, to know what to do when you have that gun in hand, that knife in your palm, when you're weighing that rock, when you're balancing it, that knowledge is power. Being able to wrap your words around objects, around people, so as to not have to pull the knife, not have to pull the gun, not have to stone someone with, with 200... 30 grains of lead. Fuck. <laughs> Not have to stone somebody. Yeah, I suppose you could call these things rocks. <laughs> In some circles, they're pebbles. In other circles, they're rocks. Flicking pebbles. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make this quick. I'll make this more brief. I'll wrap it up here. Um. I would definitely um, consider, t take it to heart, take it to heart, necessarily. And um, just arm yourself. Arm yourself with knowledge or something similar. Because you'll need it going forward. You always have needed it. You've always needed it. You have always needed it. It's just that sometimes you get caught up in the game. You don't realize that you are playing. You don't recognize that you're playing. Until somebody pulls the wool from your eyes. And you find out you're standing on... <laughs> you're st you're standing on a board game. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, my name is Alex. I'm a corporate cowboy. And I'm part of Incorporating Associates.